searching is easy, right? Type a few words in a search box and get tons of results. That's certainly how it works with Google, but you're probably going to get a lot of results that are not quite what you're looking for. The library databases, on the other hand, are the kind of content your teachers want you to use in your research and helps you tell the difference between different types of sources. But the library databases are much less forgiving for searching. Type those same terms into an EBSCO database and you get a whole lot of nothing. Does this mean we have nothing on the topic? No. But you have to approach searching in a different way with library databases. Stripping out the inessential words and adding in words that mean the same thing as your initial terms. As you can see, you need to use or and you need to consider what or or and means and then when you use those combinations of booleans you end up getting broader or more specific results ultimately computers are clueless and they don't know what any of the words in your search mean the computer is simply trying to find articles that match your terms and in no particular order if the author uses a different term say wages or pay instead of salary those articles will not show up in your results a specific concept may have lots of words associated with it and those words may have changed throughout history or even from specific geographic locations also some terms may mean the same thing like bailout. To be a successful searcher, you need to anticipate these issues and start by brainstorming all the terms that relate to your topic. Let's break this topic down into the most important key words. Gender, salary, expectations. Now think of synonymous and related words I find that reference works really good for this. If I'm not really familiar with a topic, I'll look at the Wikipedia page for some keywords or subjects. I'll also use the EBSCO database to give me subjects so I can gather more keywords on my topic. They have a feature on the side that includes subject and show more, and I can see more keywords associated with my topic and I can use those to help broaden or narrow my search. I'll also use a Gale database to gather subjects and keywords except they're on the other side and these keywords or subjects can broaden or narrow my search for academic journals or any of the result types. If I click on news you can see there's different subjects or sometimes more subjects depending on what I want to do to narrow or broaden my search. So now for all the terms I have here I'm going to enter words that mean the same thing or are very similar. This organizing of keywords should go into a Google Doc that is continuously updated to reflect your topic and lenses. There may be related terms like gender pay gap, gender wage gap, bias, stereotype, or even chauvinism that I learned along the way. Now you have a list of possible terms that you could use to search for articles on your topic. You won't find everything in a single search, and you'll want to try different combinations of keywords, but you have a good starting point for here. If you need assistance, ask a librarian for help.